Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really super quick tutorial this morning. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of students have asked me, like, you know, just can you please teach me the basics of Photoshop? How do I get started? This is for you. This will just break everything down. It's super, super simple. Okay, so first things first, you need your hardware. Um, the hardware that I use is, an, is a Wacom Intuos tablet. Um, so Wacom is the brand, and the tablet looks like this. Um, so the brand is Wacom, the, the model range is called the Intuos. Um, so Wacom has the sort of market monopoly, pretty much. Um, so they have a beginner range, which is called the Bamboo series. So if like, you're just getting into it, you know, you, you're just super amateur, uh, not amateur, but like an amateur, but also like just a hobbyist, like this is not going to be your life's work. That could be, you just want to mess around and have a, have a fun play. A bamboo is like a good investment. Um, if you are a bit more serious and you want something that will last you a while, um, an Intuos, that's the mid-range product products, um, is really, really good. Um, I've used those for a couple of years. Um, if you have a couple of spare grand to throw around, uh, you have the Cintiq, which is, that's the one with like the built-in screen display. I, they're getting more and more affordable, but they're still... Uh, I think at least a one one and a half grand to begin with. They come in small, medium, and large kind of sizes. Like the big ones, like you really need like you need a giant desk. It'll take up all your space, but they're cool. Um, I've heard people say that they it's helped them get better line work. You know, like um, in my opinion, I would I'd say probably drawing. Is probably easier on a Cintiq, like you know, actual line work, but painting with color and tone uh, is probably which which relies a bit less on precise line work. Um, maybe just fine on the Intuos. However, I use the Intuos for um, painting and drawing. So, in the beginning, um, don't get discouraged that it feels really, really awkward and weird to draw on. Um, I sort of think of it like, it's kind of like, it's got a bit more of a, a slippery sort of feel. I think it's like your whole life, your, your body has been trained and conditioned to react and deal with drawing on paper, right? So you know what pressure to apply, you know the surface, you know like how it, how it goes, but this is a bit more, it's, it's a little bit more like drawing on plastic and you, that's, you've never done that before, so it'll, it'll definitely feel weird. Like that's normal. It's felt super awkward for me when I first started. <clears throat> and in the beginning, I would just do my, my line work in pencil, like traditionally scan it in and I would paint um, and add my color and tone with the tablet, and um, I just really, um, I really just wanted to commit to being able to draw better with this thing. So like, I would just, I just practice drawing, making lines, drawing, 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 trying to find something that that worked for me. So it, you, you, you can get there. It's, it's not impossible. Cool. Uh, next thing you need, uh, software. So um, the software that I use is Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop. Um, pretty much, I think most most industry professionals will use Photoshop. Um, a lot of people will, pref a lot of artists will also go for Corel, uh, Corel Painter. That's also really cool. So like Photoshop is sort of like the the massive uh, jack of all trades. It can be used for photo editing, for a little bit of animation and illustration and drawing and painting and all this kind of stuff. It's kind of it's kind of everything. But co the Corel Painter software that's it's just designed for artists. It's not designed for you know people doing photos or whatever. It's just you want to paint. Do you want to get a watercolor effect? Do you want to get an oil effect or acrylic look? Corel Painter. That's that's what it's for. I've um <clears throat> I haven't used Paint Tool Sci or Manga Studio. Um, I've heard big, big, like Manga Studio is very good for doing comics and stuff like that. Um, I don't I don't know. I, I just use I've used Photoshop and Corel. Um, Corel Painter like I think it's a little bit you can do a lot with it, but it was um a little difficult to wrap my head around all the different um, options and tools and this kind of stuff and. Um, a couple of years 
I don't know how it is now, but it, it, it used to be very glitchy. It used to it used to crash a lot. Um, but Photoshop is pretty um, pretty stable. Okay, so we so we got our, we got our Wacom tablet. We plugged it in. Uh, this is how I program my tablet on my pen. So basically, um, I don't use any of the the side buttons. I don't really care. It's not a big deal. Um, however. For the pen, what I do is I have my forward facing button as the alt button and the back button is right click. And I'll just explain, well I'll get to that in a sec. Okay, so once we get into Photoshop, you know, we start, you want to draw, uh, you right click and this basically I want to, when you're getting started, I would just recommend using the hard and the round brush. What that means is um, this is the hard, oh sorry, the, this is the hard brush, it makes a hard edge, and this is the soft, so that's a hard round brush, and this is a, a soft round brush, they're called round because it's a circle, and this is soft, and yeah, hard, cool, just focus on using those two. Now, as you can see, it's just making one ugly kind of mark, there's no sort of thin or thick, so what you need to do window brush uh, brush presets there you go, brush so what you want is to turn on shape dynamics right and you want to change your size sorry change the control to pen pressure so like that right so now if I apply a thin mark oh, sorry if I apply a little bit of pressure it goes thin and more pressure gives me that thick mark and thick, right, right. So you may see yeah, there's, there's a little bit of this choppiness, which I don't quite like. Um, like, see that this choppy. Um, I want to go to my brush tip shape, and I'll just change my spacing to make it nice and smooth, like that. Um, if I increase my spacing, I could you can make it like that kind of thing. So there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff in here which you can have a play with, but uh, I'm just going to keep it simple. Do that. Cool you can lock that so it's always some brushes have pressure sensitivity pressure sensitivity already plugged in some don't you may need to check it out and play around with that cool right so that's the the hard round brush and then again the soft round brush again uh do i have pressure sensitivity yes i do cool okay right uh so that's that, and then we can start messing around. So that's my um, hard one, and this right click that changes my size. I'm going from very thin, like yeah, like if you want to get really like good clean lines, like I would just recommend changing the size down so it's really low. So if it's really big, right, we can get a big discrepancy. Like a, a light amount of pressure gives me this, and lots of pressure gives me this. But if I change it to like a really small size then the hardest I push, I can only get this line, you know, or even less, you know, like the hardest I push, it's, it's like, that's as, as thin as I can get. Depends what you want to, you find something that's, that works for you. Um, pressing the, uh, the uh, brackets, the square brackets, so that, that symbol and that symbol, you know, the, the left and the right square brackets uh, will give me, so it's the, this one, the right square bracket increases my brush size, like that and uh, the left square bracket will decrease my brush size. Um, however, I'm right-handed and uh, these buttons are on the right side of my keyboard, so I'm holding my pen with my left and right. Uh, so it's it, it, it's super awkward. So another thing that you can do is um, I've got, uh, uh, if you press uh, Control uh, plus Alt, and you also right-click, um, you can change the brush size on the fly, like this, by just moving my pen back and forth, uh, left and right, uh, left and right. Uh, so again, I have my back button of my Wacom tablet um, set to right click. So all I do, I, I, with my fingers, I press Control Alt, and with my pen, I use my thumb and I click that back button. That's how I move stuff on the fly. Now, uh, so we got the hard. That's 100% hard. 100% uh, soft, and you can start experimenting all the ways and all the uh, degrees in between, getting various degrees of hard 
uh, and soft edges depending on what you want. Um, what else? Uh, a lot of people have struggled blending. Check this out. So here's the blending, right? Um, if I press down the Alt, Alt will color pick on the fly. So first off, over here, we've got some colors. So I'll just choose some colors. Choose some colors over here. I'll make it nicer, actually. Do a little blue. blue. And a yellow. Cool. Yeah. Now, if I press down Alt, it'll color pick, and all, and I can start to you know, blend these things together. Like that. And I can of course use a soft brush, and that will blend all this stuff really light. Like that. I can press Alt. Pick up my color, blend it together, kind of thing. So it really helps. Like if you want, you can see how the colors are blending together over there. So if you want to make it like a really smooth kind of blend, again, here we go with this like alt. I can just color pick and use my brush and get stuff how I want it. You know. That's how we do it. Um, let me quickly explain um, opacity and flow. So check it out. Um, we have got cool. Um, over up on top, we've got opacity and flow. So basically, um, there's an art great artist called um, Carla Ortiz, and I saw her explain it this way. Um, think of opacity as um, so you got a paintbrush opacity is the amount of like water you have diluted uh, your paintbrush with uh, and flow is how much paint you have stuck on your brush right how thick the paint is so with opacity this is 100 percent opacity i can change that down to four and you can see how it's super i can see that um you get Let's go through. Okay. Yeah, it's so light, right? And now you get this very sort of like diluted sort of effect. Um, a lot of people do not like that sort of blending mode, that sort of blending thing. So, but it depends. So, you know, when I'm blending, I'll get like, you know, a round brush and I will play with my opacity till I get something like, if I go 100%, like, bam, that's too fast. But maybe if I put it in at, you know, 30%, Maybe it comes in better, 20% change it. Uh, that's good, right? We can blend the things in together. Um, also, um, the number buttons, press one to zero, uh, will change my opacity on, uh, on the fly. So if I press zero, it gives me 100% opacity. 100% opacity. Uh, if I press uh, one, it gives me 10% opacity. Uh, again, so two gives me 20. Nine gives me ninety percent, so you can just change that on the fly. Uh, change your opacity on the fly. Um, and if you want, like, so your one gives you ten. If you want something super specific, you gotta press like like fifteen. Press one five quite fast, and then you get fifteen percent. But there we go. Um, what else? Uh, the flow. You won't really see it much with the uh, with the. Uh, let's have a look. With the round brushes, but I'll show you with this. So, with, with a brush that's got more texture, kind of thing. Um, uh, if I reduce my flow, that means like I've got less paint, so it becomes more of a dry, a very you're like painting with a very sort of dry brush, and 100% opacity gives me like there's loads of there's more paint. On my brush like that you know uh, same deal here is lots of okay, change my path change my flow and it's you can see it's very it's a very dry sort of brush so I mean there's no uh, best setting in general like each brush will you'll find a, a good optimum setting for each brush you 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 work with so 
you know, it's not right to say you should always use 100% opacity and always 100% flow or 85% opacity and 10% flow. It doesn't matter. Like it'll, it'll be different for each brush. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Uh, flow opacity, all blends. And I think that's it. Oh, layers real quick. Um, layers, 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 layers. Basically, uh, you go to, if you don't have it already, window layers brings up this layers option basically how photoshop works just think of it as like it's been described as like a digital layering program it's basically like here's one layer and you know and then you put and you know here's your here's your drawing here's your smiley face right and then underneath that let you can you can then put layers underneath which will have like all your color that kind of stuff underneath and then you know, you can then put like another layer on top of it, which will have, I don't know. I don't know, your text kind of thing. So basically how that works, uh, over here we've got a new layer button, bang, 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 bang. And I press delete, I want to kill the layers. Um, so basically something I would recommend, you know, you just, I would do my line work on one. <laughs> yeah, I uh, do my line work on one. And also pressing the V button uh, gives you this layer selector, which basically moves layers around. That's cool. And then I can go underneath and oh I go underneath and then I can put in my put in my color underneath. You know? And then I could if I want to make a new layer on top and then go in and you know start just a brush that works for me. Color that works for me. Good enough. Yeah. Go in and start to, you know, add color and, and render it and all that kind of good stuff. Blah, 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 blah. You know, do that. Um, kind of stuff um, and then oh, we can make layers underneath and set them to we'll just set them to like multiply and you can do your shadows underneath blah 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 you know you, you get you get the picture um, on and on and on and on and on. Choosing brushes that work for you and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Also, and then again, also, um, once you're happy, you can. So you've got all these different layers, right? Um, the more layers you choose, these, well, depending on your computer, the slower it will run. Uh, takes up more RAM, right? So I would recommend, like, you know, try, I, I usually try and keep my layers limited to you know, like five at once, unless there's a specific reason, like I have to have my, my, uh, my character's backgrounds separated and all this kind of stuff or, or whatever. Um, close it again, see, we've got all my blending together, blah, blah, blah. This is super crude, but you get the idea. Oh, also, whatever colors you have chosen, um, uh, the X button will swap it. See, and also, so D will reset everything to black and white. And pressing X, so I've got like here's red and the back, and then I press X, change it again, and green. So draw, press X, and I go to red. If you're just working with two, so if I'm just working with black and white, press D, and then I just press X. 
to go back and forth. Uh, yeah, um, if I wanted to uh, move all these layers at once, because as you can see, I press V and I just move that. Um, I select my layer, all my layers at once, press uh, Shift, select all my layers, and I can move them all at once. Uh, or I can, once I'm happy, I can blend them all together, press Control E, and that's now one whole layer. Oh, press the, the E button, it brings up my eraser. There we go. Um, yeah, so I recommend once you're happy, uh, then just go in and it's easier to manage just one layer at a time, really. Um, so I would just recommend, um, I mean, it's easier to, yeah, it's easier just to, once I find myself like, you know, wasting time trying to find like what layer does what or whatever, I will just, I just, I just blend, I just, um, collapse all my layers together and make them all, make them all one. So yeah, that's what I would just recommend. Um, yeah, experiment. Yeah, to begin with, I would, yeah, experiment with the just the hard and round brush and you know until you are more confident to experiment with the more painterly brushes and all that kind of stuff um, but that'll get you started okay. cool 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 <laughs> what should we make this guy say uh... oh hey <laughs> Here's an insp inspirational message. Uh, practice. I believe in you. Also, the Z button um, gives you uh, the ability to zoom in and out. Oh wait, he needs. <laughs> My God, I'm so OCD. Um, sorry, one second. I just need to give him a little bit of a shadow. I am absolutely OCD. I'm so sorry. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're good. I'm just up. I'm just gonna stop myself right now. Okay, good. Bye.